In Press to Shop, vouchers play an important role in your daily relationships with your customers. Now, typically, customers like two things when shopping. They like feeling special, uh, they like feeling unique, and they like getting good prices. Now, both of these can be achieved with personalized discounts, and this is exactly where vouchers come into play, or more precisely, price rules. So price rules can take two forms. The first form we have is cart rules. Now these are actually the successors to vouchers as they were known in previous versions of PrestaShop. Now basically they enable you to create per customer voucher codes or also much more. We also have our catalog price rules, which enable you to assign price reductions by category, manufacturer, supplier, attribute, or feature. Now, for instance, you can set a rule that would say that for Spanish customers belonging to the good clients group, they would get a 10% discount of your electronic category and all Sony products until the first week of July. So first, let's go ahead and talk a little bit of the cart rules. So we'll go to the cart rules section here. As you can see, I don't have any um, cart rule yet added. Now the cart rule page gives you access to an advanced tool that uh, succeeds and builds upon the voucher system from previous versions of PrestaShop. So pretty much here, we'll have the ability to go ahead and specify names. So we'll go ahead and uh, specify this voucher rule and put a 10% discount for summer. Uh, description is just summer discounts. You could add a code. Uh, you could click generate here and it will generate a code. Now, if you do leave this blank, uh, keep rule that this will be automatically applied to the customers that uh, can use this voucher or this cart rule. So definitely keep in mind that if you don't specify any code, it would just be automatically applied to them. Okay, so definitely we have the highlight option here. So if a, op if a voucher is not yet in the cart, it will be displayed in the cart summary. And we also have the ability to, for voucher use. Like if, um, would you like, um, if you, by any chance this price rule is only, um, for example, it's only applicable if the voucher value is greater than the cart total. So for example, if the voucher is a lot more than the cart total, do you want them to use the remainder of that voucher? We also have the ability to set priority um, and the status. And do you want to uh, have this voucher enabled or disabled? So for right now, we'll click uh, enabled. We'll leave the code description and we'll click save and stay. An action is required. Okay, I'm so sorry. We do need to finish our setup here before we are able to save and stay. So right now, let's go to conditions. Do we want to limit this voucher or cart rule to a single customer? We could also search customers by here. For example, um, I have a customer name support Pesto shop. We could select that one and this would only be apl applicable to him. He will not be able to transfer his code to anybody else. Um, or definitely you can make this valid from a certain date range. Maybe you want this only valid for the first week of uh, August. I'm sorry, for the last week of August here or uh, something like that. We also have the minimum amount for this to be used. So let's say you only want them to use this voucher if they're purchasing a hundred or more dollars worth of equipment or value or products, uh, definitely you could specify that here. If you leave it at zero, it's just gonna ignore it and it, they could use it at any time. It also gives you the ability to specify whether you want tax to be excluded or included or shipping to be excluded or included. We have the total available of vouchers. So for this one, we're going to make 100 of these vouchers to be used and each user, it's only going to be able to use it once. We have the ability to restrict um, by country. So if we click here, country selection. We have the ability to restrict some countries from using this voucher, carrier selection, customer group, or product selection. 
So we'll set that up here. We have a total available 100. We'll go to the action section. Now for the actions, you could select this voucher to be free shipping, to include free shipping or not. Uh, definitely, for example, this one, um, I'm not going to allow free shipping for this voucher. So the shipping will stay as it is. And I could either apply a discount either as a percentage or as an amount. So let's say I want to apply as an amount. So I want of the total order, I want to discount. Um, actually, no, I did specify that it was a percent. So I just leave at 10%. So this will give a 10% discount to the total order. Here I could specify whether I want to apply this to the total order, a specific product, or the cheapest product. I'm going to leave this to the total order and click Save and Stay. We go back to cart rules. We now have a cart rule, which is a 10% discount for summer coupon, in which we have the code here. We have a hundred of them that could be used. So now you could go ahead and give these to your customers. We also have a catalog price rule. Now this one's going to be specified more um, to groups and stuff like this. So they enable you to assign price reductions by either category, manufacturer, supplier, attribute, or feature. And as its name applies, this type of rules applies to a range of products and it cannot be used only for a single product. So let's go ahead and add a new catalog price rule and see exactly what we're talking about. So we'll go ahead and add this. So we'll go ahead and give it a name. So this one will be um, electronics 20% discount. Uh, we could uh, apply the currency in which we want to give this um, discount. We were going to put all currencies. So this could be applicable on all currencies, on all countries. Uh, we'll leave it to all groups. Now from how many, um, what is the quantity that you want this to be applied? So we'll just go ahead and leave that at one. Uh, base price. Uh, we'll leave the base price as is. So actually, I'm sorry, for groups, we're going to actually give this price rule to all customers. So this is the thing. If you do sign in and you make an account with the, with the store, you are now going to receive a 20% discount on all electronics. Uh, so definitely, if, even if you purchase one of product from this section, you're going to automatically receive this price roll. So we could specify the date range. Right now we're going to leave that blank. Um, and we're also going to give the reduction type as a percentage. We could use amount or percentage. So we leave percentage. Uh, do we want to reduce with taxes or without that taxes? So we'll leave taxes excluded. And what is the reduction? So for the reduction, we did specify that it's going to be 20%. So we'll specify 20% here and click on save. Okay, so perfect. Now that we've added a new catalog price rule, you see that now we have an electronics 20% discount. It's going to be automatically applied to any customer that does uh, or any visitor that does sign in and create an account. Uh, then they're going to receive a 20% reduction author electronics category. So definitely uh, from here, let me take a look here. So here's where we add um, the electronics category. So for example, conditions, we don't have an electronics category, but let's, um, Let's replace, uh, by chance, the category um, with Futurama. So actually, let's say this is Futurama, Futurama 20% discount. So all the items under Futurama for customers will be have a 20% discount. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom here. So here we could specify the conditions of which this is going to be applied to. For example, this uh, this specific catalog price rule is going to apply to the Futurama catalog category. 
So we'll go ahead and select Futurama and click on add condition. So now this is the condition that meets um, for this catalog price rule. So if a customer is signed in, then this, um, this rule is going to be applied for all the products under the category of Futurama. So you could also add a different couple of conditions. If, it, uh, if for example, it's created by this fashion manufacturer, you could add that as well, and this will be applied as well. So definitely this is the section where we get to go ahead and add catalog price rules, which it's more towards uh, categories, uh, manufacturers, suppliers, attributes or features, and not so much just for individual products. So now if we go to the marketing section, the last section under price rules, we just have a couple of different modules that are uh, suggested by Price to Shop that will make uh, marketing a little bit easier. Some of them have great different features. Remember, you could always click on read more here and it's going to give you a short description of exactly what this module does and what it would, can do for your, uh, for your store and what are their benefits.